Hey guys, Tyler and Brent here from AMA Warehouse. We're just going to go over some of the core essentials needed for your next adventure ride. As with your road riding gear, um, obviously you need helmets, jackets, pants, boots. We'll discuss some of the features and where they differ and uh, why you need those. So obviously as you're riding over a lot of terrain, yeah. you need a good sturdy boot. Uh, it has a lot of different design features. Its main job is to keep you comfortable and yeah. protected. So obviously nice and sturdy up front, gear change protector, obviously you're going to be riding for a long time, and a nice shin uh, guard, ankle protection. Are these ones like lighter compared to, let's say, a motocross boot, just because you're on the bike Definitely. for a long time? As you ride for a lot longer, they're lighter. Yep. Um, they do have a slightly different pivot design than a lot of motocross do. They can be very tight, yep. uh, so uncomfortable. Obviously you wouldn't wear those for as long. Yeah. So are these ones like the same height of, of a motocross boot, or are they shorter? Like this one looks a little bit shorter than say like your standard motocross boot. Yeah, not necessarily across the whole range. This one is shorter than some of the motocross boots. Yep. Uh, when we go to some of the others, they are full size. As a shorter alternative in the range are the Adventure Lows. So yeah, just less protection on the shin. You might not be doing as much off-road or different terrain. Okay, and is that just for comfort? Yeah, correct. You want to be comfortable on it for a long time. Um, as well as the sole, it actually has an insert, so different density inserts. So your foot can move, but it's still protected by the tough cool. sole. So is that boot still like a waterproof boot or does it have any waterproof features? Correct, it is waterproof. This has the Drytex liner. Yep. Um, so do the TCX Baja. So this one has the T-Dry liner. Yep. Comes up to the second buckle. So obviously uh, river crossings, um, puddles, etc. you're gonna be waterproof. Alpine Star Corazol. So when you get back into like the taller boot, does the waterproof features come all the way up with the boot? Does it come fully immersed on the boot? Like what's the... What's it comes the a lot higher. Yeah. Still probably to the second buckle, but yeah. as it's a taller boot, the second buckle is a bit higher. Um, generally, probably 75% of the height is the waterproof liner. And do they have the same like soles as like a motocross boot? No, they do have a different density liner in the middle of the sole to just help you move around. You might be able to walk around a lot easier. Okay. A um, little bit more flex, but still protective. And like, say underneath here, these look different to say a road boot that we have that's like just straight and smooth. Why is that um, Of course, the terrain that we're riding on. Uh, if you get in some mud, yeah. you do need these grooves to clear it out a bit. Um, if you need to push your bike up a hill or you're having trouble on a hill climb, yeah. uh, that's going to help just uh, pedal your bike up the hill. So what's the difference between say an adventure boot and like a Tech 7 Enduro that we have here? Why would I choose an adventure boot on a ride instead of this? Uh, comfort. You're going to want to wear those for a lot longer than you would wear this. Yep. Although this is a new uh, boot, it's been around for a couple of years. It seems like Alpine Star are going further down the adventure line. Yeah. Uh, really good ankle protection in this specific boot. So dual sided protection, it's stiffer on the ankle, but you can still walk around in it really easily. Um, a lot of people fit the Alpine Star range. Uh, really good sole on this one, it's actually got the Enduro sole, so just like we spoke about with the uh, Corazol. Mm -hmm. uh, really good for mud, different elements that you're walking on, more buckles. So it's going to be tighter and they're going to come up a lot further uh, on your leg. So now, if I was doing like say a gnarlier trip, like doing way more off-road, say going to the Cape or, or something like that, so this would be like more of the boot of choice instead of going correct. an adventure boot? Correct. This boot itself is not as waterproof as some of the others. Yep. They do this in a dry star, the waterproof liner comes up a lot longer. So people that are really testing the elements and, and doing some gnarly stuff, yep. that's the boot they're using. Okay. So we've covered some of the core essentials needed for our next adventure ride. Is there anything else you want to touch on, Brad? Um, there are a lot of other items that we'll touch on later on. Um, accessories, uh, bladders, luggage, farkles, as they like to say. Uh, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.